Hey Cancers, it's me, Wes. So Cancer, it's that time of the year where I do these videos about the 12 houses, just to see where we can um, improve ourselves. Um, so, you know, keep us on our toes, you know, that's the point of these videos. Um, also too, sometimes we um, get stuck in our ways and um, I, I do these videos so we can, you know, always be ahead and don't forget you know um and so with the 12 houses it really just show us um i heard place value yeah what we need to work on and things like that but um cancer i have y'all down for the fifth house spirit would like for you to work on your fifth house and that speaks of pleasure yes um and so with the fifth houses romance children fun creativity getting back to that childlike energy as well as taking time out for yourself doing your nails hair whatever it is for somebody's too busy making sure that everybody else is taken care of instead of themselves and so spirit wants you to focus on that at this time mm -hmm. see the queen of cups you're loving and nurturing on everybody else but see spirit wants you to put all that loving and stuff into yourself and i think we got this the last time uh -huh. With this moon card, I'm picking up on shadow shadow work. Going within. Mm -hmm. Learning new things about yourself. Also, too, with the page of wands, um, you're getting ready to take on a new journey. And it involves you speaking. And so spirit definitely wants to make sure that your mental is 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 up to par or on point, sorry. As well as um oh, because somebody may be traveling the world and speaking and stuff like that. So definitely, yeah. You're a messenger. I heard let nature's run its course. Somebody's been dodging this calling. <laughs> Look, tower, you can't block this no more. <laughs> uh oh, sorry, y'all. Uh. The tower is out here with this two of swords. Spirit wants you, spirit is going to make you sit down and focus on yourself. Somebody may have a little uh, health issue going on with themselves, too. It could be stress. It could be a little bit more. I don't feel any stomach in my pain. I mean, I am a little hungry. That's that's the little emptiness I feel inside. But <laughs> and it has nothing to do. Because, like, you know, usually intuitively, I, I could feel if there was actually something serious wrong with you. But I really feel like it's stress. I really feel like you're just overwhelmed. And whoever you are, you work to kind of cope with the pain and stuff and things from the past and also too somebody doesn't want to discover these visions that you're having but spirit is gonna it's time <laughs> look six of pentacles this time it's time for you to embrace it and I, I really feel like that's that fear with that moon card And when I with the what I meant by your shadow, somebody's been working out of their shadow side. It's just because somebody's been hiding. Like I, I just don't want to. I don't want. I don't want this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to do this. But this is part of your journey, baby. And life is getting ready to change for you. Let it run. Let it run its course. Mm hmm. See, you've released whatever negativity that's been around you, whatever heartbreak and your pain, whatever pain that you went through, you got to speak about it. You got to tell your story because you're going to be helping individuals. You're going to be helping a lot of people along your journey. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, it's, it's, it's a complicated, it's a lot. Trust me, I know what you went through. I'm, I'm picking up on it. 
it was a lot of gossip, a lot of lies, a lot of stuff that you've been, uh, a lot of gang stalking, a lot of watching. Baby, you have been through the most, but you came out of this situation, you know? And so that's one thing that you really have to acknowledge about yourself, you know, that you have grown. And so for those of you that are dealing with pain and just, you know, um, at work, <laughs> Spirit wants you to let all that pain and stuff go. Somebody just works and go home, caters to the kids, and go to sleep, wake up, and do it all over again. But whoever you see, I mean, <laughs> whoever you are, you could, you possibly could be a seer. You could be picking up on these spirits that you see. And Spirit wants you to talk about that as well. So I'm picking up a lot of different things for you, um, Cancer. So um, just take it where it resonates. Because, yeah, somebody, somebody's being visited by Spirit. And you're kind of like, what? I, I don't want to see this. Maybe I didn't see that. Maybe that's not real. Baby, that's real. Mm-hmm. Spirit, spirit trying to communicate with you, baby. Uh-huh. And as soon as you tap into this energy, baby, you're going to take off. That is the six of wands. You're going to be very successful. Ooh. Magician, this is what you manifested. Somebody could have been like a... As a little girl, oh, I wish I was psychic. What if I, I would be able to do this? I would be able to help. And spirit is letting you see that now, and you're like, oh, this is this is this is what it is. This is oh, <laughs> but that's okay. Also, too, you know, whoever you are, baby, you you have everything that you need. You are the magician. Uh, you know, and I and I like to say these things too because when you're starting your journey, especially when you're in spirituality and stuff like that, um, starting your journey, people, you know, you really have to get out there just to discover um, some new things and stuff like that. And so, you know, along my journey, I tell people, shoot, I started off with all my little candles, bracelets, crystals, and um, Ouija board stuff like that, but. When I really realized, okay, hey, I don't need this Ouija board and these candles. Um, well, I was using the candles for like my chakras and stuff like that. But the Ouija board is what I was really using um, to tap in to try to communicate with spirits. And I started realizing that I didn't need that. And so I really feel like, you know, on your journey, you probably, you know, will be just like me trying different things and seeing what works. But you will realize, you know, you have everything inside of you. You are the manifester. You are that, that gateway, that passageway to communicate with deceased um, individuals, deceased loved ones, and any anyone else. Mm -hmm. Look. And we were just talking about deceased loved ones. Somebody's a medium. Embrace it, baby. King of Pentacles is out here. What's that King of Pentacles? I heard silent. Mm. For those of you, uh, oh, that's a projection. Okay. You're you're feeling a lot of energies at this time. But if you're in a relationship, that could be so, you're you're around someone that's clouding your energy. And if you're not in a relationship, that King of Pentacles was speaking of where you're going to be. You're going to be that financially set. 
with that king of pentacles whether you are male or female you're going to be financially set with the king of pentacles um <clears throat> when you tap into this energy spirit wants you to know that and also too for those of you that are in a relationship that person is jealous of you and they're trying to keep you stuck this person is staying around for the money and thank you spirit six of swords she will be guided to get away from this energy If you're not in a relationship, then that's just somebody from the past tapping into your energy that wants you to remember so they can come back. But no, you're gone. You're getting ready to take off. You got better things to do. <laughs> Seriously. What else, spirit? I say, Eight of Wands is out here. Spirit is communicating with you. I heard ancestors. I heard give it a go. Your ancestors want you to step on a leap of faith. And so with this page of pentacles, tap into these energies. Because, you know, for this mediumship, baby, you're helping. You're helping the divine. You're helping the divine get messages across. On top of whoever you are, you have your story to tell. And your story, on top of communicating with the deceased loved ones, baby, you're going to be helping so many people. Somebody's trying to project onto you like you don't have the finances. You can't make it without me. But you got it. You have everything that you need. And however you're feeling right now, you are enough. But they're trying to make you feel like you're not enough. You are enough. You don't need anything else. You don't need this person. You don't need their fucking money. You have everything. Trust me. Everything's going to be brought to you. And that's why this person is trying so hard to stay in your energy. Whether you're in a relationship or any, if this is someone from the past, this four of wands, they're trying to stay in your energy. Hell, somebody, <laughs> look, nine of cups, just like that, because they trying to get blessed too. Nah, they finna have to move around. Man, this is why you wonder why some people just all of a sudden just disappear from your life. They got to go. What a spirit. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups came out sideways. This person is all about them. Not they not friendly. Mm -hmm. See this communication with this Eight of Wands. Spirit is trying to balance this sit whole situation out, and they're they want you to see something too. Spirit is trying to show you something. So pay attention to your dreams. Um, don't eat late. I recommend eating around like 6 or 7 and letting your food and stuff digest and then going to sleep. But Spirit is trying to show you something. They want you to see something. And it's probably about this individual, how crooked and um, I'm seeing the 7 of swords, how evil they are. Look, 8 of swords with the knight of cups. This person just gaslights you. I'm telling you, they're not friendly at all. Real mean ass energy. This person is trying to sabotage you because they don't want you to move forward. And this is why they try to keep you busy. Mm -hmm. But see, this is why Spirit wants you to look, keep you busy with the five of ones came out sideways. And this is why Spirit wants you to focus, focus on yourself and start loving on yourself. Because the more you focus on you and yours instead of um, this other person and or everything else are just focusing on work and that's that even if you focusing on the kids and i don't mean that in a negative way because I, I i was picking up earlier somebody just works and come back home go to sleep repeat so um whether you're in a relationship or not spirit definitely wants you to cater to yourself a little bit more and also to tap into these gifts look at the bottom of the deck You're in the energy of attracting too, so trust me, a lot of people are going to be coming in your energy trying to apologize. Um, look, Ten of Pentacles, baby. Get ready. I told you, destined for greatness, baby. Seeing the King of, King of Pentacles, King, of, King or Queen of Pentacles, and it's Ten of Pentacles, you really can't go wrong in a reading. Seriously. But, like I was saying, Cancer, 
you're going to be in this ten of pentacles energy right here this is going to be your banking account baby people are going to be coming back begging you to help them please 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 no 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 where was you when i was going through all this shit so you definitely have to pay attention to that all right anything else mm -hmm. see with this two of cups out here definitely build a relationship with your ancestors and your spirit guides your angels god all your whole spirit team build a relationship with them and just um get in hermit and so you can start working on yourselves and and building you get you getting in hermit is really finna benefit you to the max cancer seriously because <laughs> you're getting ready to level up in a different way and your glow up baby like you're gonna be shining people are gonna see your aura and shit like that before you even like really just come in the room or just even your presence is even acknowledged they're gonna feel you baby so spirit definitely wants you to definitely take some time out for yourself so you can tap into this gift that they have for you all right cancer i love y'all so much i hope this helped and be patient with yourself. Protect your energy and be patient. And take care of yourself. Love on yourself, Cancer. Love on yourself. Sometimes y'all work so hard and, and you forget about you. And we don't want to forget about you because you are important too. So love on yourself. Take your time. All right? I love y'all so much. Stay prayed up and protect your energy. Bye.